So I've been using gimbals now for about three years and uh, the one I had before was the Moza Aircross. And after spending loads of time with it, learning the basics, I started to find some movement limitations. So I decided to upgrade to the new DJI RSC2. I think gimbals are one of my favorite pieces of equipment, especially considering how many other jobs you can do with them. Like replicate the movement of a slider, have it stand still as a tripod, or even create a similar move to a crane. So I'm going to start by pointing out some of the things I didn't like, then what I did like, and at the end share some of my conclusions. Setting it up for the first time wasn't actually the easiest, as I needed to adjust the auto-tune and balance test before actually getting to use it. Then after a week of using it and navigating through the different modes it has, it kept changing between the FPV mode, the portrait mode, and sometimes it was just even hard to get it back to normal. It does include cables for pretty much every camera body, but for me in particular with my Lumix G85, it does need an additional cable to be able to use the record features. Now let's switch to what I do like about it. The smoothness was way better than my previous gimbal. Every move was very stable and that is thanks to the new Titan stabilization algorithm. There's also no comparison on how quick the setup process is. Being able to lock each axis makes it super fast to be ready to shoot. Although I haven't really used the new underslug mode, being able to fold it this way makes it much easier to carry and just to pack it inside the bag. So I've had about two weeks now since I bought the Ronin SC2 and uh, I've had some different scenarios to play around with it and compare it to other systems that I've used in the past like the uh, Xeon Crane and the Moza Aircross. It feels very strong and resistant but at the same time after using it for hours it doesn't feel that heavy. And as I've mentioned before the setup process is actually very quick. I would definitely recommend this uh, option to anyone that's looking to upgrade their system or if you're actually looking to step into the whole world of uh, gimbals for the first time. I think once you learn different modes it has like it's got I think uh, three modes so FPV mode, portrait mode, in normal mode I guess and you start to get used to them I think you can get some pretty good results even if you're just starting out I remember before buying my first stabilizer I used to shoot everything handheld and hope my ninja walking would look smooth enough now, although filming handheld has some clear advantages over filming uh, with a gimbal I wouldn't get the smooth results I was looking for there's plenty of shoots where you struggle usually to get um, everything you need filming a handheld like uh, real estate gigs, music videos and, and short films. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, click the like button and I'll see you guys next time.